I am that I am, Adamus of St. Germain. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Threshold. I can't tell you how much I've been anticipating this, waiting for the time, if it even was going to come, where we would be gathering like this to do The Threshold. It's the last thing that anyone will do before their realization. Everyone goes through it. They may call it by different names. The, certainly all the experiences vary. All the stories are different, but it's the last thing one goes through before their realization. And here we are. Here we are. You learn in these next few sessions what the real name of this is, and it is sacred. That's also why uh, I never wanted the this other name you'll become very, very familiar with. I didn't want it in the uh, title or the description of uh, what we're doing here. It's too sacred. It's too personal to put out there. It's very, very personal. It's interesting uh, what we call the threshold. It's very interesting because this is not being taught anywhere else on the planet, never has been. Every ascended master up to this point, the uh, 9,888, these ascended masters have gone through it on their own. There's no books about it, no courses about it. That's what I love about the threshold. It's the first time we're taking this sacred information, this holy information, and talking about it. Now, please understand, it's not a method. It's not a, it's a, not a ten steps to realization. It's a culmination of many, many lifetimes. It's an understanding and a knowingness that you're going to go through. It's a very, uh, what can be a very brutal time. I'll tell you right now, it can be a very brutal time, but hopefully by discussing it and helping you to understand it, it's not going to be as brutal. But there are times when you're going to feel you're being torn apart. And I'll explain. We'll get into all of this as we go through the threshold. A big part of the threshold is the dragon. The dragon. We have a dragon sitting right here, just as a constant reminder throughout this. And you will encounter the dragon, no doubt. Uh, by the way, if you think you already have, you think you've already done all this, uh, <laughs> just stop for a moment. You, you haven't even started. But the real purpose of the dragon is clarity. Clarity. That's what actually dragon means. It brings everything to clarity. And the dragon also clears out everything within you that is held in guilt and shame and remorse. Because as every Ascended Master will tell you when you get up to the Ascended Masters Club, you cannot go into realization with these issues. You cannot. You simply cannot. We're going to be talking a lot more about the dragon as we go in. It's a highly, highly uh, energized symbol. You're going to find that dragon is going to be waking up. Uh, you may say, oh, no, the dragon's already been here. No, no, no. Now, the, you're feeling kind of a shadow of a dragon, but the dragon's going to be waking up. Once we actually turn the corner in this gathering, there's no turning back. There's no deciding that maybe it's not the right time for you. The next few days, I'll, I'll inform you when we come to that point, there's no turning back. So why are you here? Because it's time, because you've chosen it, but because there's nothing else left. This is it. No more, no more dallying, no more distractions, no more delays, procrastination. This is it. 